29 Pretty Orchard Street. This is it. What's in there for me? There's been a fight here. Back home, idiot! Stop! Right now! It's a leech! <laughs> <laughs> This is the very flower my mother tossed on Mary's coffin. Someone is targeting my family. Given no choice in the matter, I might have stuck in it. you escape. You're very fast, but I'll catch you.
They've all been butchered. Are you all right, Miss Shun? My name is Xiao Shun. I do apologize, Xiao Shun. Yes, I am. Tell me how your husband died. Matthew died of the Spanish flu. At this time. The worst thing. Did he hide? Matthew. The Spanish flu. You don't understand. As harsh. I never. Are you on? I have. I've. Thank you. Have you? I heard. Are you a? No, I am not. I'm why no may I you could thank you you why but you you sound let's just please you should I think you're right thank you maybe I Of perdition. Vicar, Vicar! <laughs> Jonathan is no demon. He's just a loving son returned from the dead. Like your Christ, Vicar. Mary, it has been you all along. Oh, it's me, all right, precious brother. Why did you lure me here? I'm gathering the family for a final reunion, all smiling, all dead. Thanks to the good Dr. Reed. Mary. Mother, say hello to your son. Hello, Jonathan. Mother, I... What do we have here, Mother? The prodigal son has lost his tongue. Our Jonathan always had the first and last word at dinner. The entertainer, the star of our show. Mary, let me explain. Shut up. It's my turn to do the talking. I have this nasty hole in my chest, Johnny. It needs to breathe. Right then. Speak. My prayers went so long without an answer. My husband killed in France. My child carried away by the flu. My brother promising to return in his letters, then disappearing in thin air. I went from hospital to hospital, cemetery to cemetery, grave to grave. I've lifted every stone in London, searching for an end to the nightmare. 
And there you were, in front of me, on a dark pier. It was the hunger. You know it now as well. The joy to have finally found you. I longed for your arms, a final happy ending to so much tragedy, to tell me all would be well again. As you did when we were children. It was this filthy dock where you greeted your sister. I dug a tunnel from my grave with my fingers and teeth. Mary. I had taken your life before I realized it was you. I tried to kill myself. Mm. But you failed in your attempt. We cannot die, can we? We are a plague. I've watched you, Jonathan. You pull the strings and sever them. I've done what I had to do. I did not choose this fate. But I will have my answers. Ugh. There are no answers, Doctor. There's nothing left but pain and lies and treachery. Mary, wait! Time to go, Mother. Give my regards to my son. No! 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 I cherish. Can you imagine what I have in mind for you? I'll destroy you! Finally we hear the truth! Dr. Reed, admit it. You're a monster who takes joy in killing, who relishes the chase, the secrecy of it all. I'm still a scientist. I shall find a cure for this madness. You lie to yourself. Confess your sins. Over the slaughtered corpse of our mother! Are those tears, brother dear? Your heart still bleeds with emotion. My dead heart has dried. <laughs> you are mad. Oh, so that's what I am, Doctor. Mad? I was beginning to wonder. I've been hearing voices, one in particular. That of my dead brother. This is the reason I must kill you. Not for your betrayal. Not for our poisonous kiss. Not even for the lies you tell yourself. No so that smooth and wicked voice will stop ringing in my head! I cannot let you kill again, Mary. <laughs> time to die, brother. And this time for good! You killed me, brother! Again, sweet brother. Priest. 
final thoughts are just to die for. What have you done? You've killed me, brother! Come to me, Jonathan. You left me to rot in this grave. Rest in peace, monster. What have you done? Me again, sweet brother. It's time to bring this conversation to an end, forever. You know I will not play this game. Calm now, Doctor. Like a rabid dog. Or think you're performing an autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. I'll kill them all. The kind Dr. Swansea. The sweet little lass with hair of red. I am the Harbinger, bringing your punishment. Mary... Don't you see? This is not me. Flesh that never ages. All nightmare, no dream. Bring it to a close. Let me sleep. I will find a cure, Mary. Then, 
At last, I can forgive you. One last red tear for my fallen sister. I realize the entire world now revolves around this singular word. The epidemic that has stricken London is not the Spanish flu. It is transmitted through the blood via violent biting, turning survivors into frenzied immortals. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am a vampire. Born anew into an age of death and pestilence, while plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this epidemic. I am convinced greater perils are still to come. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood. <laughs> 